Welcome to Blog Night tonight. My name is Ted. Today, we are going to touch on a nice and interesting topic, how to start a welding business. All right. Uh, welding business is actually one of the businesses that anybody else can start. It doesn't necessarily need you to be a welder or somebody who, had, who has gone to technical college to start this business. As long as you've got the capital and um, so that you can be able to buy the materials to start a business, then you can start because you can always employ somebody who is a welder and then you just guide what materials you want to do or what materials you want to, to be uh, uh, requiring and also what products you want to be selling. All right. But first of all, I would like to thank Enjinko uh, or some of the people who say Enko. Uh, they uh, supply us with uh, equipment that we use in our workshop. And we have been having discussions for them to be even able to get us some materials or equipments that we need to start uh, to continue with our business. And um, if you want to learn more about Enco, you can always um, contact me through my WhatsApp or also Facebook uh, so that I can give you more details on how to work with Enco. They are very uh, good. Um, it's a good supplier. Uh, they can they're able to listen to you and also they can always uh, help you whenever you want to get your equipment all right so what do you need for you to start um, a welding business first of all I would say that you need to have uh, capital so that you can buy equipment and you also will need to identify a place where you're going to be doing your business um, so that you um, for example you will find a workshop where you can start a business. As if in Malawi, people start anywhere else. You can just start next to the road, the street, as long as you are able to get some power for you to be able to start a business. So this business is actually very easy because there is a lot of products that you can be uh, servicing to your customers. Um, for example, you can be making gates, you can be making um, wheelbarrows, you can be making furniture, you can be making a lot of stuff. So there is a big uh, variety of uh, products that you can be sharing or uh, uh, selling to your customers. All right. So there are three, for me, I would like to say that there are three basic uh, tools that you need that you, for you to start. It's like for myself, these are the basic tools that I started with. I didn't have to have sophisticated equipment. I just had to have this basic equipment. Like, for example, you need a welding machine. Uh, Enco sells this welding machine. It's a very small welding machine, but it does work um, effectively. So it's a very good welding machine to start with. It's not that much expensive. And also you might need uh, a drilling machine in case you need to be making holes on some of the uh, products that you're, you're producing. You need a shield so that you protect yourself when you're, you're welding or your welders need to protect themselves. And most importantly, you need a grinder. So, I mean, these tools, are enough for you to start. Okay, you obviously need some gloves. You need some um, some other tools for, to protect yourself for the for for when you are grinding or welding. But this particular shield is much purpose. You can use it for welding, but you can also use it when you're grinding um, metal. All right. So with all with these simple tools, you can start a welding business. All right. Now some people will be saying like, okay, so what kind of products can I be um, producing. Like I said before, that you can choose and say, okay, I want to be doing furniture. And then you'll be asking, say, okay, if what type of furniture can I be doing? If you go online, more especially on YouTube, you'll be able to source a lot of uh, uh, products that you can get there that are for furniture, that you can, furniture ideas that you can copy and look and say, okay, this is the type of furniture ideas I want to introduce. The most important thing to do is to actually uh, introduce products that are not popular in your area. So you will be bringing something new. If you're bringing something new, it's much, much easier for you to grow your business because you stand out from everybody else who is doing the products. You can also be making maybe cement block machines. Um, you can be making uh, gates. I see some of the welders will be operating in the locations. Now in the locations, people like to put designer gates, you know, those roller gates or simple entrance gates, or you can even be making window frames. In Malawi, most of the welders, they start with making window frames, door frames, and that's the particular business that uh, they do. But for me, I would rather say that you come up with something. If you're doing window frames, 
you need to bring something new that is not uh, popular in your area. That actually helps you because then you don't have much competition and you actually stand out to your, to your customers. Yeah, so some people have been asking me, say, Ted, I want to start a welding business. Now, can you be sharing this information so that we can be able to um, learn more about welding business? All right, so I'll be continuing to share ideas on how to start this business. The next topic that I'm going to share is uh, how to um, market your business so that you, you'll be able to start your business, find customers. How do, what do you do if you want to find the customers? So I advise you to subscribe and hit, hit the notification bell because then when I'm sharing the next video, you will be able to, um, to, to get notified and watch that video. But I'm also going to share a video uh, which is going to be at my, on, on my back here yeah? so that uh, I'll share it here so that you can be able to um, uh, see the first topic that I did. I shared on how, why you should start a welding business or how to start a welding business. All right. So thank you very much for your time, for watching this video. And then don't forget to subscribe. Just hit the notification bell and leave a comment. You can also give me some suggestions of what topics you would like me to be sharing. So yeah, thank you very much.